Hi, good morning, friends. Today we are going to deal with the speaking of OET. Right? For nurses, the patient setting is given. It's in a coronary care unit. So let's see the nursing setting. Your patient is a 79 year old who presented to emergency last night with chest pain, nausea, and vomiting. An ECG and blood test showed evidence of a mild myocardial infarction. The cardiologist recommended an angiogram to be performed, but the patient feels anxious and unprepared. The attending cardiologist has asked you to explain the procedure and associated risk to the patient. So, what are the tasks? Ask the patient about his or her concerns, briefly explain the angiogram procedure, then sedation given, catheter usually placed in wrist or groin. Then about the complications if when they will last. Explain that angiogram is the best way to know the condition of the arteries and to check for any blockages. Accept that the patient wants to seek another opinion before having the angiogram. So let's see how we can do this one. This is just a model I am giving. Hi, good morning, Mr. Adam. I am Miss Gemma. I will be your attending nurse today. How are you feeling today? Hello, good morning, nurse. I am doing better. That's great. You know, nevertheless, you s seem to be worried. May I know what's the reason behind that? Well, nurse, I am a bit nervous about the procedure which was told by the doctor what's that angiogram yes yeah you are right mr adam the doctor has suggested an angiogram to confirm your diagnosis see mr adam your concern is sensible do not overthink or stress too much in this situation i will explain the procedure in detail so it will ease your stress is it okay with you? Okay, nurse. Please explain. So, angiogram means it's a procedure in which the x-rays are taken to see the heart vessels in detail. But no need to be worried about this procedure. Your doctor is an expert in this one. And you will be sedated prior to the procedure. So, you may not feel any pain or any discomfort so how does that sound yeah it sounds good nurse but still I am quite worried uh, how is this procedure they are performing I don't have any idea okay Mr. Adam no need to be get panicked I can give more explanation as I mentioned before usually they will sedate you giving some small injections so you will sleep at that time so it may not cause any discomfort for you and they will insert a catheter in your wrist or through groin and it will guide into the heart through a guide wire then they will inject one dye and they will take an x-ray so they can get a clear picture of your heart vessels uh, are you so far with me Personals, I am following you. Okay, that's it. Anyhow, I hope you understood the procedure. And do you have any concerns so far? Personals, I am quite worried about even though you explained the procedure in detail. Is there any complications which can happen from this procedure? Okay, Mr. Adam, I sense your feeling. It's quite natural for everyone to try going for a procedure. Usually, the complications are very rare. It can be some, some people, they can develop a reaction to the dye which is injecting. Or very rare, it uh, can happen some stroke or cardiac arrest or even death. But it doesn't mean it will happen in your case. It depends on the other conditions as well. Okay. Is it clear for you? First nurse. Then 
I would like to emphasize that this is the best way to know the condition of your arteries and the heart and to check in blockages. So what do you think? Are you ready to do the procedure? Mm, well, nurse, I am still confused. I don't know what to do. It's a quite frustrating situation for me. I think I have to double thing. I have to... I need some time to take decision because I not as convinced. Okay, is it okay with you? Okay, well, Mr. Adam, I sense your feeling. I know it's uh, very hard to take a decision, especially when you are so worried. But I really understand your concern and I acknowledge your opinion. But I would like to emphasize that if you did not do the procedure, it may lead to some other complications. So, do you want to put your life in a line of risk? Sure, nurse, I understood what you are mentioning, but I will think about it. Okay. All right, Mr. Adam, thank you for your cooperation and sharing your information with me. Anyhow, if you need any clarification or any assistance, you can approach me at any time. Thank you. Bye. I wish you a speedy recovery. Take care. Bye, Mr. Adam.